Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market may be in for another death cross, this time with a target for BTC potentially down in the $5,400 region. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the action we're seeing inside the chart right now. Over the course of the past week, Bitcoin has seen an immense sell-off, and we're currently trading around the $8,000 level right here, right now. But more importantly, my friends, the altcoin have taken an immense hit here as well. And the chart I really want to pay attention to here is the total crypto market cap chart, including Bitcoin and the altcoins. I want to take a look at this chart as I feel this chart right now is a pure, clear representation of the market as a whole. And there are some telltale signs in here that <laughs> we may be in for some absolutely insane action here over the course of the next week weeks and months ahead. So let's dive right in. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, let's begin right here with Bitcoin on the one-day time frame. So, we are trading right now at a local support level. Now, this gets interesting because what we have to understand here is we are at an area of old historic confluence with the price action. This whole range over here had a ton of trading action in it, which right now we are respecting as support. But what's very problematic here is that we dropped out of a multi-month bearish pennant, right? This wound up being a bearish descending triangle, which if you are subscribed here, you would know I've sounded like a broken record for months on end saying, ladies and gentlemen, this looks very much so like what we saw back here in 2018 before our capitulation down to 3000. And what do you know? Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. This did break out uh, very, very bearishly to the downside. And the sell-off has stopped for now. It, it's halted, put it that way. It hasn't stopped, it, it, it's been slowed down. Uh, and if we zoom in here on the four hour, we can see that the volume has fallen off substantially. Uh, and we are right now just staircasing along here, really just uh, in my opinion, the market is at a point of indecision and it's awaiting an, another critical move to hit, right? So here's a few things before we dive in, into the meat and potatoes of targets, et cetera, et cetera. The move here has already happened, right? That immense move to the downside, it already happened. Uh, and right now, this feels like a spot where all of the moon boys up here, Kirby, get wrecked, you see? This is the support, Kirby, you see? They all got wrecked, right? While Don Don Carbonaccio shorted from up there at 9,798. Shout out to my VIPs. I kept you updated with my short trade there. Hickory Dickory Doc. Don Don Carbonaccio shorted the relative top. And now, my friends, all those moon boys and degenerates up there that did not short. Now they're, they're all going, oh, Kirby, you know, you think it's going down to 1,000? And they're all trying to short now. This is problematic for me here, ladies and gentlemen, because look at where we're at. We are on this historic price confluence, right? Tentatively, for the time being, acting as a new local support. If we go to our RSI here, daily time frame, we are completely oversold still here, roughly right now between a 25 and a 20. That is where we've been ranging, right? Oversold begins at 30. We are still in the, the low and mid 20s right now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, just look historically. 
all the times that we've dipped into oversold conditions here on the one day time frame, uh, we see what's happened. It, it's had a tendency to rip right back up in a crocodile tooth pattern formation. Of course, past performance is not indicative of future results, but we see, right? Uh, and what happens right now is that uh, if we look at the crypto fear and greed index, we are still in a very fearful territory here. Uh, market morale is low in the sense that uh, many moon boys are second guessing themselves right now, right? They're starting to tremble a little bit, maybe get a little bit of panic, right? Uh, something like that we could expect to see here in terms of the Wall Street cheat seat excuse me, the Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market cycle. Uh, and right now, this seems like an area to the dawn that uh, this could be a little bear trappy, right? The move has already happened. Uh, sure, another leg to the downside could happen from here, but I'm just stating that the risk now for shorts is way higher than it was up here, right? This was breaking out of a bearish multi-month structure. I mean, if you short it up here, you know, congratulations, I shorted up in this region right here. Uh, but even if you waited for a complete confirmation to break all the levels, right? I, I went in aggressively with uh, a few confirmations, right? You could have waited for all these lows to get taken out and you still would be an immense profit, right? The lowest possible risk uh, you could have taken, right? Um, and right now, for me, we are at this area in the trend that uh, it's looking more so like this has a potential to be a bounce spot than it does to just continue right down, okay? But doesn't mean that it has to bounce. It just means that from a perspective of a trader that's looking for high reward, low risk trade setups, this spot right here right now, in my opinion, is not uh, anywhere near as opportune for shorts as it was up in this region. It's different. We're on a support level here, right? Sure, it could break through, right? It could break right through. And I'm going to go over now to the total market cap chart to show this better. But uh, right now, the market looks like it's ready for another heinous move coming up here. And the market does have a tendency to crush souls. So uh, when I see a lot of beginner traders now looking to short that missed this whole move, it does startle me a little bit. Doesn't mean that they don't, that, that it has to go up and, and, you know, blow up in their face here. But uh, for me right now, it appears that the dumb money is trying to short now instead of shorting up here when it was quite obvious that we might have this move break down. Let's get this crypto. So now, uh, the title of the video, right? Uh, the potential death cross with a target of potentially 5,441, okay? Where did this come from? Oh, Kirby, you with the clickbait, you with the clickbait. If the title said Bitcoin to 500,000 in 2021, no one would say clickbait. They would just sit here and applaud with golf claps. Oh, Kirby, very nice video. Very nice theory I got here, Kirby, yeah. But because it says that we could go down these moon boys and degenerates, Kirby, it's clickbait. I don't like that, Kirby. I feel like they sit here. They get all huff and puffed up, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like they just spontaneously self-combust in their computer chair. Right? That's how I feel these moon boys. And then they self combust. Clowns. Right here, right now. I'm over on the BLX chart here. This is the index for Bitcoin. It compiles many data exchanges into one. So this is a chart I want to look at for the terms of the whole market. Now, you'll see here the reason for that number in the title of the video is right here. And that is the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement, okay? Now, I'm not going to focus on this chart here. I just wanted to paint where that number is coming from, all right? And that is right there on the BLX, the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement. Now, let's go over to the total crypto market cap. This includes Bitcoin and the altcoins, all right? So, I have two fibs pulled up here, so you're not confused. This one here on the left is the Fibonacci extensions, which would be bullish targets from the bottom of this bear market, uh, you know, going off the data of our last run, right? So these would be potential bullish algorithm targets. And over here are the bearish retracement targets with our Fibonacci retracement, all right? So now, take a look here. The structure of the chart is nearly identical to Bitcoin, right? Although this includes altcoins, it, the, the structure is is 
absolutely almost picture perfect a mirror image, right? So now, the, the critical differences here is that this total market cap has already gone back down to the 0.6 golden Fibonacci retracement, okay? And on this chart, this is actually already at that $6,000 region for Bitcoin, right? You see that the structure here looks identical to when Bitcoin stagnated for 68 days before capitulation, right? And this chart is already back to this level, okay? This is critical for me here because if we lose support right now. You could see that the market right now as a whole is trading up on this 0.618 golden retracement. For the time being right now, the bulls are defending this level hard, right? Because we see if this level gives way, we lose this historic structural support and we lose the golden Fibonacci retracement support. And generally, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is not good. The market loves to hit the golden, the 0.618, both to the downside and to the upside before you look for a potential uh, market reversal, right? And actually, I want to show you this on Bitcoin now, just so you understand here uh, as well. Let's see if I have this pulled up on the chart here. Uh, I believe I do. Yes. Uh, so this is Bitcoin again, right? Here, look at the Fibonacci extensions here on the left. Where was the top of this bull run that we just went on, right? Look at it. Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. Roughly that 0.618 golden Fibonacci extension. And then the market reversed, right? If we were able to boom through this region, that would be a super bullish sign as the golden fib was not respected and the bulls ripped right through it. But they did respect it. The bears came in at the golden fib and we've been retracing ever since, right? So now back to the total market here. This is another point here of inflection for me because if the bears are able to rip through here, just like I was showing you on Bitcoin, if they were able to rip through to the upside, it could get very bullish. And on the contrary here, if the bears are able to rip through this to the downside, it could get very bearish. And the next target here is the 0.786 right? And we also do have this historic cluster here, right? And this cluster is, is pretty brand new, ladies and gentlemen. This is only several months old here. So it, it looks to me like a spot of, of a ton of significance here, in my opinion. And you could see that this market right now uh, is trading very bearishly. Uh, and if we flip on our moving averages here, this is the 200 day and the 50 day. We can see here, these are almost ready to cross. The 50 is pointing down and sloping down right into this 200 right now. We can see if we actually go over to the altcoin chart only, no Bitcoin included in this. This is only altcoins here. We already had the death cross back uh, in early September, right here. It went and crossed, and we all know what's happened to that market since then. Boom, right down to the 786 here, okay? But when we include Bitcoin on the chart, and I'm going back to the, the total including Bitcoin now, we have not crossed yet. We are looking like we could cross here if more bearish action sustains, or even if we just trade sideways here along this 0.618, these may be ready to cross. My friends, uh, what, I'm, what I'm seeing here right now is that the sell pressure in Bitcoin is immense. Of course, we have not death crossed here yet. This is, this is why that chart is still uh, staying afloat because Bitcoin has traded stronger than the altcoins here, right? So the death cross is further away. But my friends, uh, we see we had our golden cross here, the opposite of a death cross coming out of that bear market. And look what's happened since that date. Boom, an immaculate rip over 200% to the upside. Let's get this crypto. Now, if we get a death cross here, uh, what may that be, right? Uh, and this is what starts to get me looking at the full-blown market cycle theory here that we could potentially bubble pop all the way back down towards this 786 Fibonacci retracement, which on the BLX is a target of 5,441. Let's get this crypto. Now, uh, for me here, the reason that I'm looking at the total cap, right, is the fact that it's front run, it's been front running the market right now in terms of the structure, uh, for whatever reason, is looking so pure to me right here, right now. Uh, this to me looks like 
like Bitcoin is ready to go down towards that $6,000 region, does it not? This looks to me like how Bitcoin uh, should look once it, it retraces, right? And for Bitcoin, if we go back over to the BLX now, you could see we're not very far off at all, right? And in fact, that 618 is right here at about 7200 right so that that's a relative spot right maybe not 6000 it doesn't have to go to this is the region right here it's almost like that chart for me is is potentially predicting the future a little bit on where bitcoin may look to settle right where it may settle down that chart went to the 618 will bitcoin go to the 618 we'll have to wait and see but if we get that death cross on that chart ladies and gentlemen whew, uh, for me, the altcoins, they are at extreme risk for further downside action. Uh, I've already shown you that that chart there, altcoins only, they are right now clinging on by a thread to the last retracement, the 0.786. Below this, we're looking at a potential retracement of the entire move. Ladies and gentlemen, the entire move from the bottom of the bear market all the way up and a complete potential retracement of the entire move. That is savage, 100% up, 100% down. That is an absolute market cycle bubble pop. That is what that is to a textbook definition. That is literally a bubble pop, okay? And right now we are not far off from this at all. Does it have to happen? No, but it could. And that is why I'm analyzing here. When we add Bitcoin into this chart, we are at the golden retracement right now, okay? And if the golden retracement gets ripped through, the momentum may be uh, very, very impactful here and could bring us down to our next algo target of 0.786 Fibonacci, which is for Bitcoin, as I've stated, down towards 5,441. Now, uh, in terms of plays here, right, and how I'm playing this market right now, uh, I've shown you guys, let's go back to Bitcoin now. We're gonna go to the real-time chart here. Right now, as I've stated, the situation is a little odd because the market does seem very bearish overall, but we are at this critical tentative support level. For the time being, it's holding. Uh, we are right now also seeing that the RSI is completely oversold on the daily and four hour time frame. It's, it's, it's right around an area that could pop, right? So for me, this is potentially like a bear trap area. Now, it doesn't have to be, but it, it, it may wind up being a bear trap where we get a short-lived rally here that then falls out, right? But things, the RSI uh, is not a end-all be-all. It can stay very oversold for a very long time. But it's this support level here that until this breaks, I think this has a lot of potential to be a, a bear trap here. Uh, so for me, keep an eye on this bottom level here. Let's let's flip this to the daily and give you an, an, a perspective. It's really this level for me, ladies and gentlemen, about 7,600. Keep your eye on that. If that breaks for me, uh, it does look like Bitcoin is going to want to go to that 618 around 7,200. And then, like I've stated, potentially... The momentum just may be too much, and we look to test down to that 5,441 level. Let's get this crypto. Um, right now, personally, I still am speculating a little bit long, okay, with a very tight stop loss. We are right now below this 200-day moving average, opening and closing below, opening and closing below the 200-day. Ladies and gentlemen, that does not generally happen in a bull market like that. That's just not what happens. I mean, let's just look all the way back here throughout this last bubble, right? Let's look at it and rewind, okay? Notice the teal line. Do you see any opening and closing candles on the daily time frame below the 200 week moving, or excuse me, the 200 day moving average? I don't see it. So you can't possibly see it, right? The last time it happened was at the end of the bear market all the way back in September or October 2015. Once we started closing candles above it, the bull run began. And you can see, even right here, look at how many wicks bouncing right off it. Wick bounce right off it. You just don't see it historically that you're closing and opening candle bodies, complete candle bodies, underneath that 200-day moving average. It's just not characteristic of what we've seen from Bitcoin in the past. And right now, that is what we're doing, mixed in with all of the other bearish factors here. Multi-month bearish pennant, descending triangle breakdown, 
uh, potentially looking at a classic market cycle formation. Uh, and really, the morale of this market in terms of the crypto fear and greed index, really at all time lows. We went down to a five at one point, ladies and gentlemen. Savage, heinous, and a borderline ludicrous debacle, if you do in fact ask me. So right now, guys, uh, I'm ready to switch my plays up uh, in the snap of a finger, right? I've told you I'm a little bit long right now, but with a super tight stop loss, if I get stopped out, oh well. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we're going to BART all the way back up, I'm looking for a huge gain. If we drop a little bit, well, I'm going to cut my loss and then take a new play. Uh, right now, my friends, I'm strategizing day in and day out here. If you right now have been getting wrecked or you're confused or whatever it is, uh, I'm going to keep you updated in VIP with all of my my future setups here, ladies and gentlemen, every trade that I make, every strategy that I formulate, I'm going to post it for you in VIP. I've seen so many moon boys crying to me, ladies and gentlemen, literally crying to the Don. Why are you crying, my friend? I post everything that I'm doing for you in real time in VIP. That if you if you right now feel like uh, you want to see what I'm doing in real time to the absolute second, then join VIP, my friend. I don't know what else to tell you. Today is the day then. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto man up. Today is the day, my friend. So right now, uh, like I've stated, I shorted before these moon boys uh, back on September 23rd at 9,007, or excuse me, yes, at 9,798. It was an absolutely fantastic ride down, my friends. Uh, and right now, like I've stated, the chart is different. The chart is different. And right now I'm re-strategizing, formulating how to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And I see that this market right now with that potential death cross looming on the total crypto cap chart right here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this market is ready to get very, very volatile in my opinion. There may be some fake outs, market movers, whales, etc., looking to play games on these degenerates, right, ladies and gentlemen? And just one last thing here, they can play games, right? Because we saw this on the altcoin chart. This is now excluding Bitcoin. We had the death cross right here. And from that very day, right? Look at this, from that very day, the market movers pumped the market the opposite right? They did the exact opposite of what you would expect on a death cross, right? Uh, so don't get it twisted. They may play some games, but as traders, it's our job here to identify what's going on, play the price action to the best of our ability and prepare to crush this market. And that is what I'm doing around the clock right now, ladies and gentlemen. And like I've stated, uh, I'm going to post everything for you in real time as I make my trades, take my profits, move my positions, update my strategies, etc. Uh, today is the day I will see you in VIP, my friend. <laughs> Let's get this crypto. The market is getting heated up here. Uh, so if there was any time, my friend, that you've been waiting to join VIP, uh, I would say now is the time. Today is the day. Uh, that's it. I will see you in VIP right now after this video. I'm super pumped up for what I see potentially happening in this market over the course of the next few weeks. Everything looks ready to explode. Uh, not explode, I use that term lightly because it can be an explosion downward as well as upward. Uh, volatility, an explosion of volatility is a better way to put it. Uh, but either way, I hope you're ready to get this crypto. I know I am. Guys, uh, today, if you could uh, smash those thumbs because I think that this video is going to get a lot of thumbs downs purely from moon boys that don't want to hear that the price is going down. They thumbs up a video of it says, you know, Kirby, Bitcoin may be 25 million per coin by 2021. The video would have 5,000 thumbs ups. But because I show realistic analysis here as a trader looking to crush this market up or down because the market may be going down, these degenerates, ladies and gentlemen, they, they dislike the video before they even watch it clowns. They're, they'll never make a dollar in this market. You understand? They'll never make a dollar. So let it be known here. Thumbs up this video if you found this informative. Uh, if you're ready to crush the market, thumbs up this video and leave me a comment with what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Give me your honest uh, prediction here. You guys know, uh, you know, I'm not one for crystal ball theories, but let's hear what you guys have to say today. I will be reading the comments and more importantly, guys, I will be updating my strategies around the clock for you in VIP. 
Today is the day, my friends. It's time to transform yourself from Average Joe into Savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right after this video. I'll be posting my new trades as I take them. I'm ready to crush this market. Are you? Let's get this crypto. So my friends, until next time, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Share this video in your chats. Share this video in your socials. And until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.